had an interest in dairy cattle and um, as I started uh, my journey to, to learning how to become a veterinarian and as I started pursuing veterinary medicine I was mentored by um, Dr. Clinton Groover in Pickford, Michigan who was a young practitioner at that time who had a passion for dairy cattle and that mentorship transferred to me and then when I came here to Michigan State University I uh, started taking dairy science classes and working actually out here at this dairy farm. And from that moment on, just decided that the dairy industry itself, cattle, which I love, and the farmers that work with dairy cattle and care for them, who I enjoy working with, are, are really my passion. I don't think that without coming to Michigan State, I would have ever developed the passions and interests that I have. So it, it holds a really warm place in my heart. My research program uh, right now is really focused on helping farmers responsibly use antibiotics on their farms. And to do that, that encompasses many parts of kind of animal health, dairy animal health management. And that's because the most important thing we can do to reduce antimicrobial usage on farms is to have good preventive strategies to prevent bacterial diseases. So, you know, we've got some work looking at what are factors that influence the immune response of animals, um, what, what other diseases can impact the uh, ability of an animal to mount a successful immune response. And then secondly, we're working a lot and we'll continue working on uh, how do we measure antibiotic usage on farms? What's the right amount of antibiotic usage on farms and how can we develop evidence-based recommendations for when antibiotics are, are necessary. This endowment is uh, honoring a legendary veterinarian, Dr. David J. Ellis. And I was fortunate to actually have him in the later parts of um, his career uh, do some teaching of me when I was a veterinary student here at Michigan State University. And Dr. Ellis was always a role model to me. Dr. Ellis' um, mission was really to apply practical solutions to problems that farmers throughout Michigan faced. And this endowment, which was contributed to by numerous veterinary practices across the state, is set up to allow me to do that. And you know, that early mentoring or that early experiences with Dr. Ellis kind of um, fueled my passion for um, achieving the same thing. And the funds provide by this endowment are allowing me to do that. And I feel very honored to be in an endowment named for such a legendary professor and contributed to by um, veterinarians and producers throughout the state.